Welcome to Websites for Beginners. This is JP here with you, and we are looking at the Rhino theme by Themium for WordPress. Now, Themium has become very well known recently for their page builder called WP Page Builder. If you want to know more about that page builder, look at the links below in the description. We have some videos here on the channel showing you the basics and the overview of WP Page Builder, and I'm very impressed with that page builder. In this video, we are looking at the theme called Rhino. Now, Rhino is a business WordPress theme for portfolio and agency sites, and it includes a punch of good goodies. If we quickly have a look here on the site for Rhino, it includes the WP Page Builder Pro. So you get all the pro versions that come with the page builder. And this alone is about 35 US dollars. Then you get a portfolio post type that is included with it. You get six home variations for your home theme and you get the mega menu plugin that will allow you to build a mega menu. Many, many, many page build uh, page layouts that come with it. And it's also SEO friendly also includes MailChimp support. The one click demo import is also a very nice feature. The pricing for this theme is going to run you 45 US dollars. But as I've pointed out, if you take all those plugins that they have in there and you combine them, it's going to cost you more than double than this. So this is really a very good price that will allow you one domain use, one year theme updates, one year plugin updates and one year priority support. On the other hand, you also have to consider the bigger picture here, and that is you can get all day themes and all day plugins for a total of 188 US dollars. If you quickly look again at all the themes they have currently, they have up to 18. And since they have started rolling out their WordPress themes, they are about releasing one per week. So you're going to have within two, three, four months from now, a huge selection of themes that you can choose from. And then of course, those plugins that come with it and the plugins include the WP Page Builder, the WP Crowdfunding plugin, and the WP Mega Menu. So these guys are truly on a roll. And if you grab it during a discount period like now with Black Friday, you get 50% discount. So you can purchase it here or you can join the club. And once you've done that and you download the Rhino installer, you're going to get a little zip file like this that says unzip first Rhino. Now, what that actually means is, hey, dude, before you use this, you have to unzip it. Now I'm in Windows here, so I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm just going to grab this file and put it in that folder. And then if we go there, it will bring everything in here for us to work with. If you open this, you will find a number of goodies inside. You can decide whether you want to do the automatic way or if you want to do it the manual way, I will show you the automatic way now. So let's hop on over into WordPress and we are going to start the installation via the appearance and then the themes over here. Appearance and then themes. And then we say add a new theme and from add a new theme, we're going to choose the load new theme option. Right, so I, I, from here, upload theme. And all I'm going to do in here, you go to theme pack, and then here you look for the Rhino zip folder. I'm purely going to drag and drop it there. And now I will install. When your installation is complete, the normal thing will happen. It will install it. And then the only thing that you still need to do is to activate it. And then that theme will be up and running. So let's go and do the activation. And then this will tell us this theme requires blah, blah, blah. We're not going to yet look at these guys. We're first going to look here on the left in the dashboard at Rhino options and then choose the license, go into the license first, get that out of the way. So just click here, enter. The license comes with your dashboard at Themium and then your license is connected with Themium.com. Good. Now let's go have a look at what it says up here. This theme requires the following plugins, WP Page Builder, which is their page builder, and Rhino Core. It also recommends the following plugins, MailChimp, WP Mega Menu, blah, blah, blah. And we're just going to install all of those. So we click on Begin Installing Plugins. 
And then here, once we get to this window with all the Pollock ins that they require, we're just going to install them all. Click up here so to select them all, go to Bulk Actions, Install and Apply. Install required plugins. Ah, there's some warnings here. It's just my host. Don't care about those. And then at the bottom, return to required plugins installer. Now, these are the ones that have been already installed. The next step we want to do is to activate them. So we do the same thing again. Click here to select them all. And now we go to activate and run them all. That's it. The following plugins were activated successfully and you can go check there under plugins, install plugins, and you'll find the list of all of them over there. WP Mega Menu will say upgrade to Pro. You don't need to do that. You get everything with this theme that you need. You don't need to do anything extra over here. The next step is to import a demo. So you will see now here on the dashboard on the left, in the dashboard on the left, we have quite a number of new features. We have MailChimp already there, WP Mega Menu, Rhino Options, the one that we just used, one click demo install, and then WP Page Builder. Again, you will see there it says license page. Do not care about that. We are going to install the demo. You will have four skins and basically the only way they differ is in the color schemes. You can choose demo one, demo two, three and four naturally. And then you can just say here import demo or I'm going to say on this one re-import. The reason I am at the re-import is because I was making this video. I got to this point and then the power went off. So what you actually see here is me redoing everything up to this point. Now, give it some time. There's a lot of media that has to come into this theme. There's a lot of options also that they have to load in. There's a portfolio, the media, the posts and the pages. So this may take some time Go make yourself a cup of coffee and then come back and see how it went. And once you've imported everything, you just say save changes. It may still show there, but um, it depends on your Internet speed. Let's go have a look at what this has already done. I'm going to click here on visit site. Have a look at what the demo content looks like. This is the home page landing page. And then look at this massive amount of information and extra stuff that we get up here. The home page alone, they provide you these different skins that you can use for it. You can have the classic home page. Okay. To me, nothing classic about it. Maybe this layout. Nice, very nicely done. And you have others. You can have a portfolio home page as well. You can go through these different kinds of settings. That one I think is also, and then flat light. Small changes here to the portfolio. Then there's the about page. You've got elements that's listed. These are the add-ons that come with WP Page Builder. Elements included, more elements, portfolio. Let's have a look at portfolio style, column two. This is what you can be doing with your portfolio, two columns. Let's click on it, see how it looks. If we go inside the flexible page builder portfolio, and then you have your pages. There's your services, two types of services that you can add here. Test them out. Services, nice. Info blocks. And when we go into WP Page Builder, you will see that this kind of design, which is a featured box, I think they call it within WP Page Builder, is the building block for me on what you see on most of these sites. I think they've done a really good job at putting all those elements that you need into one widget and just applying it and being able to use it almost for everything you want. Then pages of year, more pages and the block. Let's go and tweak a few more things for the setup before we are ready to start playing around with it. And we have imported the demo. The next thing we are going to do is look at the mega menu. But before we do that, we're going to assign our menus. So you go to appearance and then uh, menus. And instead of playing around here at this moment, you go up here to manage locations. And then you will see your primary menu is already set to main menu. And then for the footer menu, just set that also to footer menu. Save the changes. The next thing we are going to do is import the mega menu theme import. 
And how you do that is that you go to the WP Mega menu and you go to Themes. And then you are going to import a theme for this menu. So you have to choose your file here. And the way we're going to do that is going to downloads Rhino and that unzipped file. And then you go to Mega Menu Theme and we chose Demo 1. And then you will see here a text file, TXT file Rhino. And you open that one and then say import the theme. And then after that, it will appear here with the Mega Menu themes that you have. The next step will then be to go to the menus, appearance, menus, and now we're just going to assign a few things here. Right, so we go into our menu settings, make sure a main menu is selected, and then for the mega main settings, we are going to say enable and choose this theme, the Rhino theme, and then save it. If we look at the front end again and up, Updated. We're not going to see major changes except that the Rhino theme here is now selected, but everywhere everything still remains the same. So how do you work with the Mega Menu? There's a tutorial for that, but at this moment I'm just going to show you briefly how you're going to play around with it. You will find that the Mega Menu is here in this little blue settings on all of these labels. So if I go to the Home and I just click here Mega Menu, it's going to allow me to build it over here and we'll include this one already with all the pages in there. First, you have to activate it for this part and I'm going to say yes. And I'm just going to say on stretch default. Then add row, I want to have different columns. So I'm going to choose this column over here. And of course you can place widgets and all kinds of stuff in there. You will see this all here on the left. So for example, these ones, I'm going to drag them in here for the pages so we don't lose them. And down there, flat dark. And then we can have categories. Let's go have a look at where our categories are. Drag and drop over into the second. Recent posts. And it will save automatically. Let me find those recent posts over here. And there's still so much that you can do with this. Just a quick overview of how that mega menu works. Let's refresh this one. And then once I hover over home, you will see here it goes. So at the moment, these things are not included here, but as you populate it with all your different various aspects, they will go in there. And that's how the mega menu is being built, a separate plugin that comes included with this skin of Rhino, this theme of Rhino. That is the mega menu. We've looked at the page settings, the permalinks. Let's go have a look at the pages. So pages, all pages, and you will see there is so many pages up there. Let's save this menu first. I keep forgetting to save the menu. And after we have saved it, let's go to pages. Let's have a look at all the pages that we can find. You will see there are so many pages in here, up to get a 52. Uh, the best way to do this after you have imported the demo is actually to go to the front end and then say, for example, this home page is the page that you want to edit. What you do is you just click up here with edit with WP page builder and that will open the page builder and then you can begin styling, adding more content, removing more content. Again, I'm not going to go into detail over how WP Page Builder works because we've got videos on that. Again, see in the link in the description below. But WP Page Builder brings in a lot of customization and a lot of options that you can be doing with it. So very similar to many other page builders you will see you've got rows you've got columns and then you've got the widgets which they refer to as add-ons and one of the things i'm going to show you um, if you look here at the page builder area a lot of these widgets if you just click on it it will open up if i click on it it will open here so just click inside the widget and it will load the widget here on the left and a lot of them is going to give you this one called feature box. This is almost a standard of which they use. Again, I've clicked here. It's again another feature box. And they have set up this, this add-on called feature box to be used in so many ways. You will think this is like an icon box or something. You'll be wrong. If I click in it, once again, it gives me feature box. One of the things I really like about WP Page Builder are these layouts. So if I click on this feature box over here, and I start messing around with the layout. Just look at how quickly you can have different layouts for that. So the one thing that would be nice to see in the future for these feature boxes or for all the aspects here in WP 
page builder is also the right click function that will allow us to copy and paste styles and we hope to get that in a future update just a quick view then on all the add-ons here on the left look at that this all comes for free a lot of these that you would have to pay for in other page builders they come for free and there are a lot then there's rhino add-ons so here you get specific builders just for this page builder and the theme you've got the rhino portfolio the rhino slider and the rhino post grid just for this theme alone that's also pretty nice pro add-ons these are new ones that they've added recently that you can only find in the pro and then you've got the list of wordpress widgets down here apart from the demo skins that you can import for the rhino theme you also get the blocks that come with the wp page builder pro now blocks is very common nowadays it's pre-made blocks that you can load and insert so if i'm interested let's see what they've got here blocks uh they've got feature blocks testimonials team so let's say i want to add a testimonial i click here and i look at all the various testimonials i say uh -huh, i like these one so click on it and drag it in you can drag it where you want it to go let's say i want to drop it over there it's not going to make sense because i'm cutting off those dividers but look how quickly that block loaded now layouts also come with the pro version these are full pages you can see the pros over here they are all included in this so if you want to add your own layout from here or one of their layouts from here you can choose any of these so if you click on this lawyer it will give you all the pages inside of this and you can use that just quickly uh, one of the features i also like about wp page builder is under tools and that is clear page content by clicking on on this it's going to delete everything nothing is going to remain so if you wanted to build your page from scratch with a layout you can do so now let's say you want to instead use a gym thing and then you import this home page it's going to take some time to load those graphics and then voila there it is that was very quick really really quickly done that's how easy you can style it and it's easy then with the add-ons clicking image click on this one feature box you will see the feature box pops up everywhere they've done that really well at the first time i played around with wp page builder it was one of those things like what it's like they use the feature box everywhere so look at the amount of content that you get with this theme from themum it's really staggering let's have a quick look again at what you get with the rhino theme the first thing that you get with the rhino theme is that you get a multi-purpose wordpress theme for an outstanding online presence that your business deserves this was released on the 8th of november last update was just recently and they are constantly adding on those new things so for the rhino you have the wp page builder pro which is 35 dollars by itself it allows you an outstanding page builder building experience with add-ons made especially just for this theme i like that then you have the custom portfolio post type so there if you want to display your portfolio that is there for you you saw all those different home pages that you can apply and if you don't like those home pages you just go to the wp page builder and you look at their layouts or you create your own the mega menu which allows you to bring in a lot of mega menu features and then you've got all those page layouts that you can choose from and this for the staggering nice price of 45 us dollars also including one click demo import mailchimp support and a fully responsive and seo friendly site and of course then if you think you want to use more than just one theme you want to use them all then you can go for the club membership just to give you an idea what you get with the other themes if we go and have a look at that and we'll be covering them shortly is that you get those that are centered on crowdfunding charity donation um i saw other few online shop e-commerce so we'll be digging into all of these in other videos to come right not bad right i'm really impressed with how quickly these guys have moved they've got a lot of experience we'll still talk about themium more in the future this is not their first venture into building pages this is just a foray for wordpress they've been around around the block quite a few times and these guys know what they are doing so you can see how quickly they move another thing that i want to stress it's very important to me if you look here at the pricing it will say one year priority support have you ever signed up and they tell you 
that one of the reasons you have to sign up and pay for a web page builder is because of support. And then when you send a message or you s submit a ticket, you don't get any response. Not these guys. They are so quick. Really, they are really, really quick. So you can rest assured that if any problems you run into or something on the page doesn't work, they're going to help you with that. The one thing that won me over was their support because I started playing around with WP Page Builder about two months ago, two, three months ago. It was still beta and it was very clunky. And I started sending in a few ideas. I found a lot of bugs and they were just on the ball immediately fixing them left and right. And that won me over. I saw the commitment and I saw the perseverance and that's what I like to see. So that's why I'm saying uh, don't underestimate these guys. I think they're still going to make a huge impact on the world of page building in the very near future.